For the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. Just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top-of-the-line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. yeah -ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? Sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Hiffy. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. The deck of cards just wouldn't help there.
Mind if I use your hole punch? Knock yourself out. Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? What poisoning? The Code 3 gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. Uh, I forget. Am I supposed to be somewhere right now? Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? Yes. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. What if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out, if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trapped soul and you don't even know it. Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Que tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. Well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss. Same as you, Don Coppel. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. Wh wh what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? Busy as ever, I see. I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Ouch. Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? It's the Day of the Dead. Everybody's back in the land of the living, visiting their families like we should be. Why aren't you visiting your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I want to see. And you don't want Domino here alone, getting all the good leads. Domino's here? He's at the poisoning right now, stealing your commission. So, you going to the Christmas party? After the spectacle you made of yourself last year? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Any good gossip? Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, Bellissa. Uh, I forget. Am I supposed to be somewhere right now? Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. How's it hanging? How's it hanging? It's 
locked. How's it hanging? We can't operate cars. That's how they keep us from skipping town. No parking. Client car pickup only. We can't operate cars. That's how they keep us from skipping town. No parking. Client car pickup only. I remember the year they built that. I remember the year they built that. Mostly because it cost so much, we didn't get bonuses that year. Da caños. I'm not walking on the freeway. I shouldn't even be standing here. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. It's some sort of special work order. This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. Suit. I'm practicing. Practicing what? Wringing your neck. What does it look like? Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. Frost, trying to stump me, eh? Ta-da! Some of my finest work, don't you think, Sparky? Some of my finest work, don't you think, Sparky? This doesn't look anything like Robert Frost. Some of my finest work, don't you think, Sparky? This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer soup. Deck of cards just wouldn't help there. Deck of cards just wouldn't help there. This doesn't look anything like proper frost. That soul has already been reaped. My sight. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. It's some sort of special work order. Uh, 
uh, once another balloon animal. Ah, jeez. What now? A dead worm. Heck, that's easy. There's no limit on those. It's a deflated balloon. It's a deflated balloon. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? Okay. I can't. No problem. Ta-da! It's a squeaky little kitty. It's a squeaky little kitty. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, jeez. What now? A dingo? That's my specialty. Ta-da! It's just a regular old balloon dog. I don't see what's so dingo about it. Some festival, huh? Yeah, yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. But you don't have any tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue. But that doesn't seem to shut you up, now does it? Can you teach me how to do that? Well, uh, since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step? Which is? Blow! Bang! Ah! Popped another one. Lousy bony fingers. Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? I have to go. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. You too? huge. I can't open it. I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. Just change his auto response here. Whatever it is, it will have to wait. To all employees of the Department of Death Bureau of Acquisitions, employees who have made their sales.
headquarters are invited to take the Day of the Dead as a holiday, as long as they make up the time lost on the following weekend. Idiota. To all employees of the employ, as long as they make. Time to ransack. Everybody's at the poisoning, but me. I'll come back after the poisoning and search the whole room. If I go out that way, everyone will know I was snooping around in here. No time to ransack. Everybody's at the poisoning, but me. Pickup only. We can't operate cars. That's how they keep us from skipping town. We can't operate cars. That's how. I remember the year they built that. Mostly because it cost so much, we didn't get bonuses that year. The ganos. Through on foot, people have tried, but they never came back. Get hurt if I try to get one down by myself. Hey, 
Hey, service. Hey, genie. Come out of the lantern already. Huh? Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey, I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Gladys. Gladys. Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire... to drive! Or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Nice hut. Yeah, I wonder how nice it would seem to you if you were trapped in it all day like me. If you hate your job, why don't you quit? It's not just a job. It's what I was created to do. If I get any farther away from cars than this, I'll get sick and die. It's like I'm not happy unless I'm breathing in the thick, black, nauseating fumes. Hmm, can't imagine. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! No, 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 no. I don't ride them, just wrench them. Looks like I need a new driver. Oh! I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes? You do. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm too big. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll, but I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, hey, hey. that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. <laughs> Is that horrible squeaking noise you're making? New shoes. If I use your hole punch, knock yourself out. 
Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? I can't find my driver. Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. You know, Copal's not really in his office. Sweetheart, I know what you're up to. Huh? You're trying to get me away from my desk so you can link all my paper clips together again. Grow up, darling. Eva, I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copal, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Whatever it is, it will have to wait. Eh, sorry, Cal. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere. Zach, everybody's at the. I'll come back after the. Po I'll come back after the poisoning and search the whole room. If I go out that way, I'll come back after the poisoning. He's got a lock on it. I can't believe he doesn't trust. Me. I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copal, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, cripes, Ava! Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. Eva, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. Hey, I 
look good in this, don't I? <laughs> yeah, well, they say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! <laughs> I could have walked faster than this. Ah, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. Domino. Ooh, the living still give me the creeps. I can't use my bare hands. I'm a professional. It's the fear of death that makes monsters of us all. Mmm, smells like the perfect client, rich and sweet. Nice bathroom. But we offer several travel package upgrades if you care to cut the yeah. I want something cheap where I can get some rest. Now that's it. Ay ay ay. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster if you wanted. Yeah yeah. Whatever. Oh yeah. Slam the front into the weeds. Tub the rear end. Two blowers popping out of the hood. You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. No, wait. Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno. But my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street! No job! No way to work off your time! Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill! Who you calling a scumbag? Why, well, I ought to... <sighs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take one. Hey, you missed a great poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino came back from there with a nun. Híjole, I got a tiny little man with a mean temper and no commission. Well, at least you don't work for one. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? 
Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. I'm not getting that stuff all over my hands. Bruno, you in one of these? Must have picked them up already. I'm not getting that stuff all over my How's it hanging? It's another balloon animal. Ah, jeez. What now? Bet you can't do Robert Frost again. Hey, did you lose the one I gave you? No. Well, then just enjoy it for a while longer, all right? I'll have another dingo, please. Hey, did you lose the one I gave you? No. Well, then just enjoy it for a while longer, all right? Can I have another cat? Hey, did you lose the one I gave you? No. Well, then just enjoy it for a while longer, all right? Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. That's not what balloons are for. That's not what balloons are for. I don't got the lungs for it. I don't got the lungs for it. That's not what balloons are for. I have to feed you. Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. I get crumbs all over. I get crumbs all I get crumbs all over. I get crumbs all over. says I'm at the junkyard Woo! Ooh, I might get hurt if I try to get one down by myself the driver demons operate this somehow and the company won't tell a salesman how it works. Gotta keep us down somehow. Can't people have tried, but they never came back. Can't go through on foot. People have tried, but they never came back. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. At least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, Kelly, how you doing? I want to ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. Can I have one of your clients? Sure, Cal. Just as soon as I get one I think you could handle, I can handle anything you got, especially if that's your best right jab. Why do you get all the good clients? 
You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. What did you do to get this job? You mean, what's my secret to success? No, I mean, how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit and how long are you going to have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you, but I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. I want to tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. You know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. I want my office back. Don't worry, you'll have years and years to enjoy it after I get promoted out and you're still here. I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> I think we should team up, be partners. Oh, Manny, I, I would, but I'm too intimidated. I could never be partners with someone who was so much more of a man than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your wife. So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. For trains. You got a nun? Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo choo, little buddy. Say, how'd you score? I got two nuns, actually. Hey, that reminds me of this really funny joke. Heard it. I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh, no, not the Christmas party all over again. What happened at the Christmas party? Blacked out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. Well, you sound pretty out of breath, so I'm gonna blow. Always a pleasure, Cal. No use for it. No use for it. Hey, get away from my computer, Manny. Hey, Dom. What's your screensaver password? Get away from my computer, Manny. He's got a lock on it. I can't believe he doesn't trust me. files. It'll just make me sad. I should close Bruno's record before the black marks burn into my screen. I should close. Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. I should close Bruno's record before the black marks burn into my screen. Read him already. Didn't help. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. Manny, if you don't mind. Right. Mind if I use your hole punch? Knock yourself out. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it?
No use for it. No use for it. No. No way. If I go any farther, Don will see me and call the staff shrink to come and talk me down. No use for it. I don't have a net or a desire to have a pet pigeon. It's locked. good use of this special ceremonial bread. That wouldn't be a very good use. I get crumbs all over. I don't want to mess up my blade. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. I don't want to mess up my blade. I got solitaire on the computer, Manny. Manny, what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. Maybe card tricks some other time when I'm not so busy. filled with a light chemical. That's not what balloons are for. It's a nasty chemical puddle. This balloon is filled with a light chemical. This balloon is filled with a dark chemical.
Look out below. You sound pretty out of breath. All Servers down again. What else is new? Manny, if you don't Right. Number nine. One of these days, I'm gonna ride her right on out of here. Hi, I'm not getting any messages. Is the server down? This is their idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they like that. Terrible thing like this. It's those punks in the mailroom. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right. Well, I... Yeah. Magnesium compound fire extinguisher. Spray that on this packing foam, and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here. What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste. Good enough for government work. below.
server's down again. What else is new? compelling. Hi, I'm not getting any messages. Is the server down? This is their idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they like that. So you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. So how long is it gonna be down? In a job like this, you can never tell. Probably hours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. Can I squeeze in there, just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. No one's allowed in here who ain't me. What's so special about you? I, sir, am an elemental spirit, summoned from the land of the dead itself. Yeah, yeah, let me guess. You were given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Fixing pneumatic tube switchers. No, I was created to run the elevators, but they put in those dang motion detectors and put me out of work. Who would do a terrible thing like this? It's those punks in the mailroom. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right. You know, I really think it's clean enough. Oh, it's clean enough to run all right. I'm just fiddling around to be safe. You know, gotta cover my ass. Yes, you do. Just curious, how'd you get in there? I squeezed down one of these tubes like a pixie. How do you think I got in here? Through the door, just like you. Say, uh, chatty Cathy, I got a lot of tubes to flush here. Hey, me too. I'll let you go. Not again! Ah, 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 ah. You trying to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher! Spray that on this packing foam and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here! What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste! Still not getting any messages. I'm giving you one right now, but you can't see my hand. Hey, I'm still not getting any messages. I'm giving you one right now. for government work. The 
will not budge. Mercedes Colomar, plank number 9308, blah, 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 died of chicken pox, time of death, yada, 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 aha, positive attributes, volunteer time, reading stories to dying children. That's good. That's really good. I think you're it, Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. Pilates, are you loco? What got into you? That was a company car. Oh, yeah. And it's even better company now. I'm in. Buenos dias. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calavera. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Mean to animals? Oh, no. I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha. Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh-huh. Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calaveda, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Litter? Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Work with me, Meche. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry, I give up. Don't say that, Manny. You know what I have to do? I just have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. I'm still on the case, Mitchie, but I haven't found anything for you yet. Maybe I'm not the woman you were hoping for. I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. Hey, funny bones! In my office! Now! You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent! There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please.
She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine! Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients the domino! That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it! And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there, on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld, alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service? Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve! Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! Ooh, ick. It came out like soft-serve ice cream, but judging by the smell, I think it's auto body filler. Doesn't open. Hey, is anybody out there? So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? Who's out there? I'm you. Or rather, I was you years ago. Yeah, well, I'm me now, so get lost. Get me out of here. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. Yeah? Well, I got something they can stick in their fold. You have to try harder than that, Manuel. A man's loyalties decide his destiny. I ain't saying nothing until my lawyer gets here. Lawyer? <laughs> oh, Manny, that is quite humorous. Doesn't open. Hey, guard! As my little Count of Monte Cristo. No, really. Who are you? I'm a fellow prisoner, my friend. Maybe, but your cell's a lot bigger than mine, jailmate. I'm thinking about getting out and getting even. That's it. If you are still loyal, lay down and roll over and bark the company fight song. I know. The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Young man, you are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club. Salvador Limones and guest. Where are you taking me? To the headquarters of the LSA. LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. To do what exactly? We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny? I was once a reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears, unprotected and alone, like babies, Manuel, like babies. What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you Agent Calavera? Manny suits me fine. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Well... You won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, Manuel, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. So you're not really a secretary. I'm a spy, Manny. Well, that's the last time we use that temp agency. Any messages for me? Yes. Join or die. But I'm already... Again! 
Ava, you gotta get me out of town. They're gonna sprout me. You can't leave, Manny. We need access to the DOD computer network if we're ever gonna find out what's going on. And we can't access without a salesman like you. The computer IDs you when you log on. How does it do that? Fingerprints? I don't have any. Your teeth, Manny. Haven't you ever noticed your computer scanning your teeth when you log on? I thought that was just a power search. We need your teeth, Manny. We can't let you go. Sorry. Doesn't Kapal wonder where you are? Don and Domino were both locked up in Don's office with some bigwig from downtown. Some fatty in a fez. Hmm. Who is the fat man, I wonder? And how does he fit into this sinister puzzle? How long have you been a spy? Salvador recruited me about a year ago. I couldn't resist him. He's just so noble. What are you working on there? I'm trying to get this radio working so we can use it in the field. But it looks pretty hopeless. Salvador's right. We need good old-fashioned homing pigeons to communicate with our field agents. You have field agents? No, it's just Sal and me right now. But someday, Manny. So, you won't help me out of here? Sorry. I'll help you out, but not your teeth. Think it over. This computer shut off. We salvaged that unit when the company threw it away. But we have yet to get it working. When we do, we'll need you to get us into the system. I'll be long gone before then. We'll see, Manuel. Do you know something I don't know? Have you ever wondered why your clients, even your best clients, never seem to qualify for the packages you know they deserve? Yes. My last client in particular, Mechi. Well, they all did qualify, Manuel. Especially her. But somehow, somebody with access to the files has stolen their just rewards. Their sweet hereafters. Their tickets on the number nine? Precisamente, amigo. What would they do with the tickets? A ticket on the number nine is like a leaf of gold, Manuel. Especially to one who has died with a less than perfect record. Someone is profiting here from those that would buy their way into heaven. But money's not important here. We all just want out. You want to get out, Manuel. And so do I someday. But for some people, this world is all there is. They have decided to seek pleasure and happiness here in the eighth underworld. And for that... You need money. What do you want from me? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. If I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No, I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. Now that's all the briefing you need, soldier. Viva la revolución! It won't budge. It opens for members of the LSA only. Have you thought about using messages tied to balloons? I can get you plenty of balloons. Pigeons, Manuel. Bring me their eggs. Pues, okay. Viva la revolución! his password. Nope. It's 
not Golden Boy. He doesn't try. like a glowing hunk of coral. I can't even imagine a way to use coral there. I can't even imagine a way to use coral there. this in his mouth. It's Domino's mouthpiece. Why am I carrying this around? Congratulations, Domino, on your new job. Hector. It's meant for mouths. Ah! Ah! 
made out of clean dishes that aren't nailed to the roof. a little more bread to honor the dead. That wouldn't be a very good use of this special ceremonial bread. I have to eat. scare them eventually Lousy little ledge pickers. You must come with me, young ones, for I am the Green Reaper. I think I should get out of here with these eggs before those vent vultures come back. Agent Calavera, and two guests. Check these babies out. Excellent, Manuel. With these, I can breed an entire army of winged messengers. Our revolution can spread now across the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice, thanks to you, Agent Calavera. I myself would also like to spread across the land. But you can't. We need your dental work here to access the computer. I am sorry, but freedom has its price. Look, you got the eggs you wanted. Now can I go? Sorry. But your teeth, the revolution depends on your teeth. Viva la revolución! I'm not sure what to make of that. Why don't you show it to my intelligence officer? What's that? Domino's mouthpiece. Think you can get a dental impression off of it? No, the plastic's so hard he didn't leave a mark. 
What's that? Domino. No, the. That's not on fire. That's not on. That's not. That's not on fire. They still think I'm locked up, hopefully. Dents, great for dentures. Wow, that made a perfect impression of my teeth and left quite a chalky aftertaste too. Got something here that might interest you. Looks like a perfect impression of your teeth. We can use this as a mold to make a fake set of teeth and get into the computer system that way. Good work, soldier. You are a friend of the revolution, Agent Calavera. And now, let me be of service to you. You must go to the town of Rubacaba, my friend. If you want to find your lost soul, how do you know where she is? I don't, but everyone who wants to get to the Ninth Underworld must cross the Sea of Lament. And therefore, must go to Rubacaba to get passage on a ship. As long as you get there before she does, you'll find her. But it may be quite a wait. I'll wait as long as it takes. Manuel, are you in love with her? Love? Love is for the living, Sal. I'm only after her for one reason. She's my ticket out of here. Some tunnel. I'm all the way to the edge of the petrified forest. God is my friend. Why are you crying, Betty? Oh, Betty! They fired me. <laughs> Me too, buddy. You don't understand, Betty. I was created just to do that job. It's the only thing that makes me happy. It's like they reached into my chest and pulled out my heart and threw it into the woods. To... <laughs> Gladys, what have you done? Oh, Gladys. It's 
stuck in there good. Uh, it's stuck in there good. Piece of cake. Hi, Chihuahua. Don't think that's gonna work. That's not on. That's 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 that. I guess I could always use a spare. Soup's on. Huh, they don't seem very interested in that bone I put in there. There's already a bone in there. There's already a bone in there. I like to save bones for special occasions. I like to save bones for special occasions. Ooh, something has sucked the marrow out. My scythe. I like to keep it next to warning. Fire system, do not touch. Oh, poor spiders. No more demon hard to eat. my car. Mr. Lamaz, I assure you the missing woman will be found. I will personally track her down myself. Just like you personally picked her up from the land of the living. That was my intention, but Agent Calavera somehow got to her first. We gave you the fastest car, Domino. We gave you all the best clients. You had all the advantages. So how was this Calavera able to sneak in there and eat your lunch? Oh, now, Hector, you can't get too mad at Domino. That wasn't his fault. Oh, I can, Don. You should know I can get too mad. But not at Domino. After all, he wasn't in charge of this operation. At least, not until now. Hector, no! Marigolds. <laughs> Funny. For some reason, I was expecting tulips. Well, maybe Mr. Calavera, eh, Domino? Why don't you personally go down to the basement and escort him up here? The sooner he's sprouted and we can get back to business, the better. Wanna go for a ride? I thought you'd never ask!
Híjole, mano. What sort of a holy Christmas tree farm is this, Gladys? Gladys? Manny, check out this wheelbarrow, will ya? With a couple of ATV nubby tires on the back and a two-stroke lawnmower engine, we could make one sweet go-kart. Hmm. Gladys, what are they doing to that tree? Oh, city boy! You work all day in a 60-story skyscraper, but didn't you ever wonder what it was made of? The barrel of these trees, man. They suck it out. It's like cement. Is that why the town's called El Maro? Huh? Never thought of that. Maybe so. Place gives me the creeps. I'm ready to go when you are. Ooh, careful, Manny! With the harmonic balancer turned off, those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but. Oh! If we shook the tree down, those pumps would dislodge, and I could make high lift shocks out of them for the bone wagon. Hold on. I'm going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights. That'll shake it down for sure. Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. That should do it. Still not enough. And maybe if I move them around a little... Hey, while you have that off, let me try moving those weights around some more. Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. Hey, Benny! What are you doing? Outside of the entertainment value, that didn't do what I had hoped. No trailer hitch on the bone wagon. transportation wasn't ostentatious enough. Get in, or are you afraid of heights? What's on the other side of that gate? Yeah, the way out of the forest. Demon beavers, Manny! They'll make you into a dam! Relax, Geppetto. I'm not made of wood. But Manny! 
they don't use wood. Let's crash through this gate and drive right over those little monsters. No way, Manny. Oh, those flaming bone beavers are mean. They bite, they claw, and if one of them wrapped around my drive shaft, I'd be picking flaming hunks of fur out of my U-joint for months. I'm not going down there until you get rid of them. I like to say bones for... I like to save bones for special occasions. for a bone there. I couldn't take that off with my bare hands. If only I hadn't thrown away that little hand exerciser Domino got me for Secret Santa. I couldn't take that off with my bare hands. If only I hadn't thrown away that little hand exerciser Domino got me for Secret Santa.
I don't think I could swim a single stroke in that tar. No, I don't think I could swim a single stroke in that tar. Hitch on the bone wagon. No I've broken it. No, tr no trailer hitch on the bone wagon. That's the kind of hike I just don't need. No trailer hitch on the bone wagon. No trailer hitch. Thank you. 
Wait a second. Look out! Driving back to town, Manny. 
Not here. Back to that no good town. You can go without me. Right now. Look out! Not right now. This signpost seems to be pointing the way to Rubakava. Not right now. <coughs> he wasn't kidding. He really loves to do Not right now. <coughs> to that sign.
It looks like some sort of warning sign. They'll tear you apart, bone by bone, and build with you a human throne. Their buck tooth king will sit upon what once was you, but now is gone. This key unlocks the gates of hell. Steady traveler, use it well. Can't pass up an old creepy key. It's the key to the gates of hell, I seem to recall.
Hmm. I'll just drop this one. I'm carrying around too many of those already. Not right now. Practically made. I don't need any more. I'm practically made of them.
of Black River are blowing bubbles at the bottom. So let's power on through, huh, Glot? Manny, look at that badass gate. I can't drive through that. We have to find the key. Ejole. <laughs> That road leads out of the forest, I'm sure. But I don't think I'd get very far on foot. Plus, how could I leave without Glotta? This outer gate is huge. I'll need Glottis to open it. Manny, I don't know if I like driving over people. They can't feel it, they're dead. You're dead? I wouldn't want to drive over you. That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. Aw, oh, Manny. That road leads out of the forest, I'm sure. But I don't think I'd get very far. Hello? Miss Colomar! We're here to save you! Hey, lay off the racket, the whole town's asleep. But I want a drag race! When they get a load of my car, we're gonna be the talk of the town! Pit. You're right. We're gonna have to find a good place to hide that road show. Speaking of hiding, I wonder if Mitch is here already. I'm gonna go see what I can stir up. Not a bad piece of real estate, actually. It's got potential. Mr. Flores, I'm ready to take you now. Manny Calavera, is that you? Didn't you used to be taller? I'm here to reclaim that walking stick. I broke it over the head of some hideous monsters in the forest. What are you doing here? Well, if you must know, it's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she too was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It is said that all lost souls come to Rubacava, so I came here to wait for her. You must love her very much also. Yes, this is true. Of course she also has all of my money. How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny, if she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. I'm looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name, and you can take it from me. I, too, am looking for someone, so I watch the comings and goings around here very carefully. I'll help you find your wife. What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? So, know a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. Can you get me a job here? Have any skills? Sales. Well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but we only have one mop. I'm sorry, Manuel. I've got to get this place ready to open. Right. I'll let you know if I see your wife. She'll be the one asking for a beloved Celso. Hey, how do you open these? You wait till we start serving. That's how. Hey. How do you open these? You wait till we start serving. That. I have bigger things on my mind right now than condiments. It's Celso's wife. Actually, I don't think skin would help. You 
got to watch your step around here, stranger. Rubicon ain't the quaint little port town she used to be. Well, <laughs> looks like there's a new vessel in town. Pardon me whilst I go check her out. Well, actually, it's mostly stock with a few mods here and there. So, would those be glass packs I'm hearing, or turbos? There was this one high-pitched whine it was making, really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise missile. Ha ha ha! That's a good one. Hola. Hey, Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry dock the bone wagon for a while. Oh, yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Did you hear that, Manny? Are you folks going to stay in Rubicava for a spell? I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Well, there's lots of work down at the docks, but it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> How do you get around here with all the mist? Well, uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea. By the sound of the lonely foghorn, by the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow! Manny, could I have an eye patch? Can I just ask, what is under the eye patch? Because I know it's not an eye. Oh, well, when I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that one eye socket used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. We're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks or a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well, like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> hey, Manny. We were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. Gladys, you gotta hide that car. In a minute, Manny. I'm talking to Mr. Doc Master here. You sure a woman named Mercedes Colomar never came through this town? She might have. I don't know. I told you the first time, I'm no good with names. I think I'll wait for the fog to clear before I try exploring town again. Are you sure I can't sleep in the back? There's only room for one. Let's hope I never have to take that road again. Gladys, you gotta hide that car. In a minute, Manny. I'm talking to Mr. Doc Master here. Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She sailed out of here weeks ago in a cozy portside cabin built for two. And she wasn't alone. How do you know she sailed out of here? I don't believe it. It's a tough break, Junior, but you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in full. 
I cracked the champagne on the bar myself. Hey, Manny. Hey, look. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port, and I never saw her again. What was her name? The SS La Mancha was her name, but don't make me talk about her, because I, I just can't do it. How about in the attic? That's the boss's office. You can sleep there when you're the boss. I could sleep out here on the counter. Our customers may all be dead, Manny, but we still care about hygiene. I could sleep under the sink in the kitchen. The rats would steal your toes in your sleep. Look, I need a job and I need a place to stay. I told you, you can have mine when I'm done waiting for my wife. Look, I need a job. I went. Celso, your wife sailed out of here two months ago with another man. It's all in there. Oh, Manny, is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This mop at least will never let you down. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Come downstairs. I got a customer asking for you. You know I don't like to mingle with the customers. Well, you may want to mingle with this one. She sounds like your type. Well, looks like a quiet night in old Rubacaba. <laughs> 